Hello and welcome to second part of our Azure AI Fundamentals Ultimate course, folks. We are starting with question number 14 in this part of the series. A traffic monitoring system that collects vehicle registration numbers from the CCTV footage is an example of which of the following in the computer vision service. Your options are image classification, object detection, spatial analysis, text extraction. Now, friends, since the goal is to extract the vehicle registration numbers from the CCTV footage, text extraction using OCR algorithms would be the most appropriate choice here. OCR algorithms can recognize and extract text information from images, making it possible to retrieve the registration numbers from the captured video frames. Next question. You have an app that identifies the coordinates of a product in an image of a supermarket shelf. Which service does the app use? Your options are custom vision classification, custom vision object detection, computer vision read, computer vision optical character recognition. Folks, the app needs to identify the coordinates of a product in an image, which means it must detect and locate objects within the image. Custom vision object detection is specifically designed to detect and localize multiple objects within an image by providing bounding box coordinates around the detected objects. Next question. For which two workloads can you use computer vision? Your options are assigning the color pixels in an image to object names, detecting inconsistencies and anomalies in a stream of data, creating visual representations of numerical data, creating photorealistic images by using three-dimensional models, describing the contents of an image. Now folks, assigning the color pixels in an image to object names refers to image segmentation, which is a core capability of computer vision. It involves classifying each pixel in an image based on the object it belongs to. Now folks, detecting inconsistencies and anomalies in a stream of data is more related to anomaly detection techniques in data analytics and machine learning, not computer vision. Creating visual representations of numerical data falls under data visualization, so another incorrect choice. Creating photorealistic images by using three-dimensional models is more related to computer graphics and rendering, so another incorrect choice, leaving us with the second correct option as option E, describing the objects of an image, which refers to image captioning or object detection, which are common computer vision tasks where AI models identify and describe objects in an image. So folks, I hope you now understand why I have chosen option A and option E as the correct answer. But if you still have any doubts, please post them in the comments section. Let's look at question number 17. Predicting how many hours of overtime a delivery person will work based on the number of orders received is an example of which type of machine learning model. Your options are classification, clustering, regression. Folks, regression model is the correct choice in this case. Regression is used when predicting a continuous numerical value. In this case, the number of overtime hours a delivery person will work is a continuous value based on the number of orders received. Next question. You need to provide customers with the ability to query the status of orders by using phones, social media, or digital assistants. What should you use? Your options are an Azure machine learning model, the translator service, a form recognizer model, Azure bot service. Now folks, Azure bot service allows you to create conversational AI solutions that can interact with users through various channels like phones, social media, and digital assistants. It provides a seamless way to handle customer queries, including order status updates. Question number 19. What do you call the data that is used as input in a machine learning model? Your options are features, functions, labels, and instances. 
Now friends, in machine learning, features are the input variables used to train a model. They represent the characteristics or attributes of the data that the model learns from. There is a link on your screen. Go through it to understand different aspects of machine learning model as there can be multiple variations of these type of questions, folks. Next question. Match the type of computer vision workloads to the appropriate scenarios. Each workload type may be used once, more than once, or not at all. Now, there are three workload types, which are image classification, object detection, and optical character recognition. Now, friends, the first workload is generate captions for images. Image classification helps identify the main subject of an image, which is useful for generating captions. Now, folks, the second option is extract movie title names from movie poster images. OCR is used to detect and extract text from images such as movie titles from posters. Now, for instance, the third one is locate vehicle in images. Object detection is used to find and locate specific objects like vehicles in an image. Folks, as always, if you still have any doubts, then do not forget to post them in the comment section. Let's look at question number 21. Which AI service can you use to extract intent from a user input such as call me back later? Your options are Azure Cognitive Search, Translator, Language, Speech. Folks, Azure AI language provides natural language processing capabilities, including intent recognition, which helps identify the purpose of user input, such as call me back later. Go through the link on your screen to understand more about conversational language understanding, which is the precise answer to this question. Next question. Which of the following is an example of detecting unusual temperature fluctuations for a large machine? Your options are a computer vision workload, a knowledge mining workload, a natural language processing workload, an anomaly detection workload. Folks, detecting unusual temperature fluctuations for a large machine involves identifying deviations from normal behavior, which is a classic use case of anomaly detection. Azure AI provides services like Anomaly Detector, which can analyze time series data such as temperature readings and detect anomalies based on historical trends. Next question. You need to convert receipts into transactions in a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet must include the date of the transaction, the merchant, the total spent, and any taxes paid. Which Azure AI service should you use? Your options are custom vision, document intelligence, face, language. Now, friends, Azure document intelligence is designed to extract structured data from documents like receipt, invoices, and forms. It can automatically identify fields such as date of transaction, merchant name, total amount spent, and taxes paid. Next question. Which of the following displays the predicted and actual positives and negatives by using a grid of zero and one values when evaluating the performance of a model? Your options are AUC metric, confusion metrics, ROC curve, threshold. Folks, a confusion metrics is a table that displays the predicted and actual positives and negatives when evaluating a model's performance. This matrix helps analyze classification accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score. Now, folks, if you want to understand the four terms that I just mentioned, which are accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score, then go through the link on your screen as it will provide you all the details about confusion matrix. Question number 25. Your company is exploring the use of voice recognition technologies in its smart home devices. The company wants to identify any barriers that might unintentionally leave out specific user groups. This is an example of which Microsoft guiding principle for responsible AI. Your options are accountability, fairness, privacy and security, inclusiveness. Friends, in this scenario, the company is identifying barriers that might exclude certain user groups, such as those with speech impairments or non-standard accents. This aligns with the inclusiveness principle, which aims to create AI that works fairly for everyone. Folks, inclusiveness in Microsoft's responsible AI principle ensures that AI systems are designed to be accessible and usable by people of all abilities and backgrounds. 
Let's understand why others are incorrect in this scenario. Accountability focuses on ensuring AI systems that are used responsibly with clear oversight and responsibility. Fairness addresses bias and ensures AI models treat different groups equitably, but does not directly address accessibility concerns. And finally, privacy and security ensures user data is protected and secure. Question number 26. Which type of natural language processing entity is used to identify a phone number? Your options are regular expression, machine learned, list, pattern.any. Friends, phone number follows a structured format, making them ideal candidates for regular expressions. Machine learned are used for unstructured entity recognition like names or organizations. And list are best for predefined values. And finally, pattern.any matches any text pattern but does not provide structured extraction like regex does. So folks, that's all for this part of the series. I hope you have liked the content. If you have, then do not forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe the channel. We will see you soon in third part of this Azure AI Fundamentals Ultimate course.